channel. Today's video is gonna be all about my helix piercing. If you've been following me on my Snapchat and also on my Instagram, you will know that I, like, I think it's like two days ago now, I got my helix piercing. It was some of an experience for me, definitely. And if you do know me and if you've been following me for a while, you would know that I am so scared of needles. I'm actually so freaking scared of it that I was 18 when I got my ears pierced. Yeah. But um, I did get the Helix piercing, which I've been wanting for a long time. And my sister, she's got it. And I know some other of my girlfriends who's also got the Helix piercing. And I just kept on asking them, does it hurt? How does it feel? Is it like sore? Can you sleep on it? You know, like all of those really, really stupid questions that you always have to ask. And therefore in this video, I'm gonna answer all of those questions that I was having that, and that you may sit and have if you're thinking about getting your Helix piercing. So if you're interested, Keep watching. So let's just start out with talking about how I got my Helix done and why. I actually have been wanting the Helix for quite some time. I hadn't really been talking too much about it with my friends. I had been like searching on Google and on YouTube about Helix piercings and how to get them done and if it really hurts, you know, like all of those things. And I was just so interested in getting it because I think it's a very feminine slash very edgy piercing. If you look at me right here from like this kind of a distance, you won't really notice the helix piercing. So in that way, it's a bit more of a discreet and a feminine and kind of girly. But if you just put a hoop in it or whatever, it can actually go a bit more like fierce and a bit more edgy in that way. So you can really dress it up or dress it down as much as you want to. So that's why I really, really wanted that piercing. It is not a piercing that is like in your face, but, but it's still there and it's really pretty. So the thing that actually really made me do it and made me go like, okay, I have to do it. I was talking with Anna Brienne. I'll um, leave the video actually right here, somewhere on the screen, where we're actually talking about the Helix piercing. And then I was talking to my sister later on that evening on the phone, and she was just like, just do it! Seriously, as I said, my sister, she just got the Helix piercing as well, and she's just like, I love mine, and it didn't really hurt. And then I was just like, sis, I'm gonna do it. And then I was like, I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I was gonna see my mom that day. So I was just like, maybe I can get her to go with me because as I said, I'm freaking scared. So I just need somebody to be there with me and hold my hand. And my sister, she was like, now you have to get it done tomorrow. But it turned into the next day and I went out to go shopping with my mom and so on. And I was just like, mom, I'm gonna get my ears pierced today and I want a helix and she was just like, yeah, let's do it. So we found a jewelry store in Lungpi and in there there was this sweetest woman, like jeweler, jeweler or whatever you call them. And she was just like, yeah, get it done. It is such a pretty piercing and so on. And she was just very helpful, told me everything that I needed to know. And she was just like, it doesn't hurt and it's fine. And as long as you remember to clean it afterwards, there will be no infections, nothing like that. And it was just really nice having a talk with her before getting it done. And I got it done with a gun. I know some people, they get it done with like a needle and a piercer. And I was thinking about that as well because I had been reading that that's the best way to do it. Most people in most places in Denmark, they do it with a gun apparently. So I guess it's fine as well. I mean, that's how I got it done. And as you can see, it is not even red or sore or anything like that. But obviously always read before getting anything done. Talk to a piercer or maybe one from a jewelry store, whatever. Just do your research before getting it done. And let me just say, before actually getting it done, I did tell her that I'm terrified of needles. I may seem very down to earth and very calm about everything, but inside I was just going like, ah! I'm so freaking scared. So I just really wanted her to know beforehand that I was very, very afraid and I didn't really feel too comfortable. And she was just very sweet about it and said, let's just take it slow and steady and we don't have to rush anything. The woman told me that I was going to be the first one using a whole new system, like with a gun. So it wasn't that damaging or like horrible for the ear to get done and so on and not as shocking either. She obviously sanitized the entire area and so on. Everything was very sterile and very nice and clean. Obviously that's really important when you get your ears pierced. That's also why I wouldn't recommend you to do it on yourself. So she sanitized the ear area and then we just found the right spot where it's supposed to be. She did a little dot in my ear and she was like, do you like it there? Is that a fine place for you? And I was like, yeah, it looks fine. And my mom, she agreed as well. And then she got the gun and got ready and shot it. Yeah. I just gonna Okay. Yeah. Okay. You must gerne skrive skrejl. Nej. Ved du hvad? Nej. Du er ultra sej. Unfortunately, it didn't go through the first time. Hvorfor? Fordi jeg trykkede ikke 100%. Det blev varmt herinde nu. I remember the woman she asked me, did it hurt? Are, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. 
it actually didn't really hurt at all I just I think it's a shock that you get Yeah, okay. I was fine. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, it's good. It's just the thinking. So once it was in, I could feel that my ear was just turning so, so, so like warm. And I was just like, whoa, that feels weird. And then <laughs> she asked me to come over to her because she just needed to sanitize once again afterwards. And then as I walked over to her, I could just feel my legs getting kind of wobbly. And I'm just like, whoa, this is... This is weird. And then while she was cleaning my ear, I was just like, I I think I have to sit down. And then suddenly... Yes, we have to sit down. Yeah, you do. You have to sit down. Yeah. You have to sit down. I fainted! I actually fainted on the floor. My mom, she was just like right behind me with the camera and she was just like, oh my God. And she actually... Um, made it and grabbed me and then she just took my head and like threw it down uh, between my legs so I could get some blood back into my brain. I feel so happy that there wasn't any other customers in the shop while I was doing that because that was just so embarrassing. <laughs> I guess it was because I was so nervous. I, I was just in shock I think and that's just how my body reacted I guess and it literally took me like five minutes or so and then I was fine again. I was up walking and just laughing at everything. Already now we can laugh about it and we're just like that is a funny story to tell. I fainted when I got my helix piercing done. I'm never gonna forget that. <laughs> but as you can see, it is in and it is around two days ago now when I'm filming this video. I would say that honestly the first day it was very, very sore. My ear was kind of like pounding a tiny bit as if it had a heartbeat. And it was a tiny bit red, not too much though. And I did get some cleaning solution kind of thing. It is called Ear Care Solution. This is from Inverness. And I'm cleaning the piercing three times a day, in the morning, in the middle of the day, when I get home or whatever, and then in the evening time. And I use this one with a Q-tip, and then I just clean around the ear or the piercing. So obviously the first day my ear was really, really sore. And when I had to go to sleep that evening, I was just like, ow, ow. Out. I can't sleep on this side and this is like my favorite side to sleep on so I had to sleep on this side Which was okay. I did fall asleep eventually, but I had a horrible night's sleep as I said This is the second day and as you can see I Can touch it and my ear is not red anymore It is a tiny bit sore obviously, but just sitting right here with it as it is right now And I can also touch my ear my ear is not sore as it was on the first day. So I feel like that is a really good sign of me healing really, really quickly. I am a quick healer. And just with my lip fillers as well, I mean, I haven't really experienced any bad swelling or any like really bad bruising or anything like that. So I guess my body just reacts really, really well to needles and stuff like that. And I guess also the big question that I have to answer as well is, does it hurt to get the helix piercing? On a scale of one to 10, I know that my pain tolerance is very, very high, but I would say it's not more than a four or a five. I mean, obviously you can feel when the needle is going through your ear. It would be crazy if you didn't feel anything, but it is not bad. I mean, I was just like, I was closing my eyes because I didn't want to see it and so on. And I remember I was scared of actually the sound of it. Because of the cartilage, I think that's what it's called, it is a bit thicker. So I was afraid that you were gonna hear that crunching noise, but you didn't hear anything. So if it's the pain that keeps you from getting your helix piercing, it is nothing. I think the thing that is the most irritating is actually just the feeling afterwards on the first day, just feeling really sore and that kind of like heartbeaty kind of feel in your ear. That's the only thing that really annoyed me and also just that I had a really bad night's sleep the first evening or the first night. And you also saw how quick, simple, easy it was to get it done. I mean, she just drew that little dot in my ear and then she poked it through and that was it. It on honestly took like one minute to get it done. And I'm just thinking, why not show you how I actually cleanse and sanitize the area and so on with the ear care solution. So I'm just gonna get you up close so you can see my ear and what I'm gonna do. As I said, I'm gonna use the ear care solution right here from Inverness. I guess whatever kind of ear care solution that you get from your jewelry or, or the piercer is the thing that you're just gonna use. And then what I do is that I just take the Q-tip into that little hole right there and then I just turn it upside down. So there's just some water or some solution going into the Q-tip. And then I just go around the edges of the piercing like that. This is obviously still a tiny bit sore to do, but it's not bad at all. Then I'm taking the other side of the Q-tip, the solution again, and I'm just turning my ear and then doing it on the back side as well where the lock is. So in that way, we just make sure that both the front and the back is totally 100% clean. 
And of course, if you want to prevent any form of infection in your ear, that's the best way to do it. As far as I've been able to read about the cartilage or helix piercing, it takes around six months to truly heal. But I do feel like that you just have to listen to your body and feel around on your cartilage and your ear and so on. When it doesn't hurt anymore and when you can see that it's actually not bleeding or, or there's no pus or anything like that coming out of the hole and so on, then I think it's, it's healing. And I haven't experienced any pus or any bleeding or anything like that. Actually, when I got it done, it didn't bleed either. I feel lucky. But obviously remember that all bodies are different and all bodies, they react differently to getting a piercing. Is there anything that I've forgotten to tell you about? Don't think so. I don't think that there's any more to say actually. It was a very, very quick, simple, easy piercing to get done. And I'm actually thinking about getting one more done, like a double carless or helix piercing or maybe one over there. Let me know what you guys think. And as you can hear, I'm totally fine with it. I love my new piercing. So if you're thinking about getting that cartilage or helix piercing done, I really, really, really hope that this video could help you. I was very, very scared before getting it done and now I'm just like, <laughs> it's nothing. I mean, if I can do it, who's so scared of needles, you can do it as well. If you've got any questions for me at all about the helix piercing or the procedure or anything like that, leave some questions down below in the comment section and I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. Give it a huge thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you like hearing about my little story time about my piercing and my helix piercing and me fainting. Remember to subscribe and like and all of that good stuff and thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else.